हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते इसमें सुशील चंद्र गौतम अगेन हियर टू टीच यू द सेकंड चैप्टर फोर्स एंड मोशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टू क्वांटिटीज वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज स्केलर क्वांटिटीज एंड अदर टर्म्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर क्लास बाय डिफरेंशिएटिंग द टू टर्म्स स्पीड एंड वेलोसिटी देन स्टूडेंट्स लुक एट एट द बोर्ड केयरफुली व्हाट इज स्पीड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स Speed is defined is after we have already been clear about the distance and displacement. Distance, displacement, displacement. What is the speed? I want to compare it with velocity. Okay, velocity. Speed. Speed is defined as the distance traveled by a body per unit time. Distance traveled by a body per unit time. What does it mean? Means the rate of change of distance by a body. If I travel 40 meter distance in three second, then here it is a what distance? It is represented by small d, and here three second is what time t. Then what is the speed here? 40 divided by three. What you will get the result? You can easily calculate. That is called what speed. Means speed is defined is the distance traveled by a body per unit time. A rate of change of distance per unit time is called what speed. Similar way, velocity means velocity is defined is the displacement per unit time. We have already been clear about it. Distance and displacement. That while going from A to B, that The shortest distance between A and B is called displacement. Whereas the path followed by U or the length between the two points is called what? Distance. This is distance. This is distance. This is also the displacement is distance. All displacement are distance, but all distance are not displacement. Means that displacement per unit time. For example, if you are traveling 10 meter distance in two second, means to travel by the short way, shortest path, then at a time 10 by 2 means how much? 5 meter per second. That is called what velocity means. Velocity is displacement per unit time, whereas speed is distance traveled by time. And displacement and distance are the two different things. Be clear about it. Means that speed is what scalar quantity because distance is also a scalar quantity. Time is also the scalar quantity. For second, does it have any direction? No. So, this uh, speed is a what scalar quantity, whereas velocity is what vector quantity because If we divide the vector quantity by the scalar quantity, we will again get the result what vector. So velocity is the vector quantity, whereas speed is the what scalar quantity. And both of them has the unit meter per second because we are already known about it. How to derive the unit from the chap chapter measurement? Means speed is equal to distance traveled by time. What is the unit of distance? Meter. What is the unit of time? Second means meter per second is its unit. Similarly, it is not the difference. It is the same thing. Velocity displacement is also the distance. That's why it is also meter. It is also second means their difference is meter per second. Okay. After knowing about the speed and velocity, we are going to move towards acceleration. Acceleration. It is represented by small e. Acceleration is defined is. Simply, let us take one example. If I am running here with different speed from one point to another point, or I am moving from point A to B, at that time, uh, I can in, uh, travel this distance in different speed. There may be the traffic light, so I should stop there. That so means I can. Uh, if there is a zebra crossing, I should slow my vehicle. That's why. There may be the different speed in different points. For example, if I am starting my motion from point A to B, I will see the velocity at the two points. That is point A and that is point B. The velocity at the starting phase or starting point, that is A, is called initial velocity. Initial means what? Starting. Initial velocity and is represented by u. And the velocity at the end is called what? Final velocity means later velocity or final velocity. 
and it is represented by capital V. We have two types of velocity, initial velocity and final velocity. Initial velocity is the velocity at starting phase, final velocity is the velocity at the end or later velocity. Initial velocity means u and v, which comes first? u, that's why it is represented by, initial velocity is represented by u and v comes later on, that's why it is represented by v. And if a body takes 4 second time to travel from point A to B, then it is called time taker. Then what is acceleration, sir? Acceleration is defined as acceleration A, small a, acceleration small a is equal to change in velocity, change in velocity per unit time. What does it mean that change in velocity? Change in velocity means we have two types of velocity here, final velocity and initial velocity. Final velocity means the final velocity, final velocity minus initial velocity, initial velocity by time t is called what? Acceleration. Because suppose for example if a body started its motion from rest 0 meter per second, at the rest it was it is not moving, it is not traveling in any distance, so its speed is how much? 0 meter per second. And it uh, travel uh, 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 for 4 second and gains the velocity 50 meter per second. Then what will be the difference? 50 minus 0, what was? 50. Divide by time taken, 4. 50 means that 50 minus 0 divided by 4. What will you get here? 50 divided by 4. By easily calculating easily, you can find the acceleration. Or, sir, is it necessary to uh, be the body started from its rest always? No. If you are calculating the velocity, if you are calculating the velocity, uh, or if you start to uh, uh, note the velocity on its motion, means that the body was coming from Gathagar and you uh, take the initial velocity at Kausalta, then maybe the certain speed velocity means that it was moving by 40 meter per second. After reaching to the Thimi, after uh, 4 seconds, its speed becomes 60 meter per second. Then which one is initial and which one is final? 40 is initial because it was the velocity at Chardavatu. Means that initially the velocity was 40 meter per second. And when it reaches to the Timi, at that time the speed becomes how much? 60 meter per second after 4 seconds. Means that is time taken, that is initial velocity, that is final velocity. Means that what will be the acceleration here? You can easily calculate final velocity 60. V is this. Initial is this minus 40 divided by 4. Means that 20 divided by 4 means 5 meter per second square. How does this unit is calculate, calculated? Or how is this unit calculated? Let's be, let us be clear. Because we have already done in measurement of it. Means acceleration is equal to velocity, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time t. Final velocity, if we subtract velocity from velocity, then what we will get? Abhir we will get the velocity. So let's say capital V. Divide by t. Velocity is, what we have defined velocity? Velocity is equal to displacement per unit time. Displacement is meter. Time is second. Then meter per second, we can put the here meter per second. Divide by second. Meter, this also in the condition of divide. This also in the condition of divide. Second into second means that meter per second square. Means the velocity of a body has unit meter per second, whereas the acceleration unit is meter per second square. Okay, after knowing about this acceleration, sir, is there, sir, you may have the question that, sir, if there is the possibility of the negative change in velocity, then what will happen here? Simply example, there may be the reduction of the velocity too. Suppose the body was moving, uh, from while you are traveling from Gathagar to Radhe Radhe or from point A to B, let's say point A to B, it will be easier I think, A to B, while you are traveling from A to B, you, uh, your velocity was 40 meter per second here. But when you see a boy standing at the point B, you apply the brake and you make your vehicle to the wrist 
At that time, the velocity will become what is zero meter per second because it is not moving now. It comes, it came in what rest, and you take to start the vehicle. You take uh, four second time or five second time. Then what will be? What is the initial velocity? That is initial velocity u. What is the final velocity? Zero meter per second. That is final velocity v. What is it? Time taken. Then what is the acceleration? A is equal to v minus u divided by t. V is how much? Zero minus u is how much? Five. No, forty. Here yeah, forty. Initial velocity forty. Divide by time taken is how much? Five second. Minus zero minus forty minus forty divided by five means minus eight meter per second square. Meter per second square we have already known about this unit how it came we have already calculated. Means minus eight meter per minus eight meter per second square. Minus eight if the the value of acceleration comes in negative or negative value of acceleration comes then it is called what? Retardation. Retardation. Then how can you define retardation, students? Retardation is defined as the negative value of acceleration. Means while you are calculating the acceleration, if and the value become comes uh, negative, then it is called what? Retardation. Means that what will you say the result? Therefore, the retardation of a body is eight meter per second, not minus eight meter per second square. The value of retardation is eight meter per second because retardation itself represents the negative value. That's why retardation is how much? Eight meter per second square. But acceleration is how much? Minus eight meter per second square. Okay then. If uh, we have already discussed in the uniform and non-uniform motion, let's go to the initial stage. That is uniform and uh, uniform and non-uniform motion in the initial. Uh, what I said there, unif in uniform motion the acceleration is zero. Whereas in non-uniform motion the acceleration is not zero. Why did I say it? Let's see here. We have already known acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken. Yes or no? Acceleration, final velocity, initial velocity, time taken. Then if a body is moving with uniform velocity, what I said? Equal distance in equal interval of time. Means that if a body travel from A to B with a uniform speed, by here also its speed is 40 meter per second, here also, here also, here also, here also. In every point, 40 meter per second is. 40 meter per second. Then, if you are calculating acceleration between a point A and B, then what will be the value? B, final velocity U is 1. The later velocity is final velocity B. Initial velocity is U. Time taken is suppose, let's say, 3 seconds, 5 seconds. Then, what is acceleration? Final velocity 40 minus 40 divided by 5 means 0 by 5 means something by 0 by something means it is 0 meter per second square. Means if a body is moving with the uniform velocity means constant velocity there will be no change in velocity because acceleration is the change in velocity there is no any change of velocity 40 40. So at that time the acceleration will be 0 meter per second square. Well, but while you are traveling with a non-uniform motion means 45 to 50 uh, 45 to 50 meter per second in 5 seconds then final velocity is how much? In that case, final velocity B is 50, initial velocity is 45, divided by time taken is 5, means 5 by 5 means the acceleration is 1 meter per second square. If a body is traveling with uniform velocity, the acceleration is 0 because there is no any change in velocity. But if the body is traveling or distance or traveling with uniform velocity, uh, with non-uniform velocity means variable velocity, at that time the acceleration will be certain. Okay students, with this I think I should stop my class for today. Thank you all, thank you very much.